In this video, we're going to take a moment to talk about design variable conflicts and how to avoid interacting with things like dead parameters. And I'll show you what I mean by a dead parameter. If we come to the wing in the section tab, recall that you can only have three of these active at once. Everything else is automatically implemented because there are at most three of these that drive the geometry. So average chord, for example, is a dead parameter. If we come here, and try and choose our average chord as a variable and add it and go to adjust. Note that it does absolutely nothing. And that's because OpenVSP is not controlling that whatsoever. It doesn't change anything. So you want to avoid including things that are grayed out like this because whatever you do in the DES file will have no effect whatsoever on your model. Let's go back and delete that out and look at another example. Now, in OpenVSP, you'll recall that when you manipulate some parameters, it's automatically calculating what other parameters should be for you. Now, let's take a look at the plan form tab as a really good example of this. Recall when we did the wing tutorial back in chapter one, that adjusting the area leaves the aspect ratio locked and basically scales this thing. So the span and the cord are all being calculated on the fly. Now that's a big hint that if you try and throw these things into the same design variable file, you're going to have problems. So I'll show you an example. I have a conflict design file here that we're going to load it in. And what it does is it takes total area, total cord, and total span and chucks it into a design variable file. Now you might think that everything is okay because if I come in here and start playing with area, just like before, the chord and the span are updating accordingly and everything seems fine. If I start coming in and playing with chord, the span remains locked and area updates. Similarly, I can adjust the span and the chord remain fixed. Everything else is behaving the way that you expect. Here's the rub. If you come in and try and adjust these manually, what's going to happen is, is these are going to essentially fail. So let's save this with these values of 206 and 35. And we know that that's not going to work. Those values don't match up, particularly for a single section wing. But let's watch what happens. I'm going to come here and I'm going to load this conflict des file and watch what happens. So the first thing it does is it takes that first variable and says, OK, you want 200 and it sets it. But the cord and the span are off. So it hit 200, saw that the next one that it was trying to implement was going to cause a failure, and it stopped. Now, what happens if we do it again? Watch this. It then ignores the area, continues on with the next steps of the DES file, and gives you 6 and 35, which gives you an area of 210, not 200. And so you can continuously load these DES files, and it's just going to swap back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between these two conflicting sets. That is a parameter conflict in a design variable file, and you really need to be careful. So as I mentioned, if you come in and start playing with a value and you see a bunch of other numbers moving around with it, that's a big hint that those should not be in the same design variable file, because you're likely going to end up with a conflict. This is true for any other types of components that have these links. Just watch out for that and you should be fine. 